Hi guys, it's Steve from SEO Link Robot. In this video, we'll go through the press release module. Open up the module. As you can see, we we have data already filled in for the press release module. We should have that as marked and take that out. All of this data is taken from the campaign data that we created in the create campaigns module. As you can see, the user data is the data we've used in the article submissions and the profiles. This data is also used in some of the press release submissions. The press release accounts, um, some of these actually need accounts and some of them don't. As with the, the modules, we can create accounts in this module as well as within the create campaign module. You may notice on the toolbar there is a lot less options for the press release. This is because with the press releases in most cases you can't actually get the URLs so we cannot pull these back within the software. We still have the IDN sims, proxies, our link viewer. We can verify emails of accounts we create in the press list itself, module itself. So I'll add a press release. I'll add the body. Now that the format for the press list itself, there are many samples of these on the internet which you can go through and and find the exact format that you require for yourself. The standard format is we can add a URL to the body. We can add this on the bottom. And we can also add one to the text itself. So we would make sure we've got keywords in our text and we would anchor those keywords. I'll just use a sample a sample here. I'll choose which link I want. I'll link that one. So choose that. Insert URL. That's our links ended. We can also spin this the word count and also the preview in the browser. So what we'll do, we'll ident the sims. As you can see this has been spun. We'll spin the article so we can check it. Yes, that looks fine. In the submitter as you can see, we can only choose the sites we have in white, not the sites. The sites in red don't have accounts created for these. So we'll choose press box download junction. Then we simply start posting. As you can see, it opens the sites. Gets the captures and posts. There we go. We've posted two press releases to two of our sites. And that's how simple the press release module is.